so welcome to my video on part two of my video series on my lidar system and uh, here is the lidar which i have made you can see the laser pointer which is mounted here uh, on this piece of lego and i have a webcam on the other side of the beam the distance between the webcam and the laser pointer is 9.5 centimeters the beam itself is mounted on a pan tilt servo mechanism with two small mg90 uh, metal gear servos and uh, as you can see i can tilt as well as pan the leader now i need uh, directional information and for that purpose i have mounted on top you can see there that's an mpu 6050 three axis uh, accelerometer and gyroscope chip and i'm using direct data from the digital motion processing center of that so i'm not processing the data myself i'm just taking out your roll and pitch directly from the sensor and feeding that to my arduino nano which you can probably see under this uh, mass of wiring there we are and at this point i'm also controlling the the motion of the lidar with the joystick which is also wired to the same arduino and so you can probably see that if i bring the joystick here you can uh, you can see how the there you are, how the lidar is responding to the joystick uh, in future versions i will automate the sweeping process both in elevation and in azimuth probably make it a little faster also uh, because at the rate at which we're processing video frames we don't really need it to move slow I'm just doing this so that I can verify the actions of every one of the components so I need it to move a little slower than it probably would be able to do on its own all right so let's see it uh, working so now I demonstrate my uh, LIDAR system working and uh, this is the capture of the feed from the webcam which is being processed by the OpenCV uh, image processing software programmed in Python and uh, I've also connected the Arduino to the computer through the serial port and I'm feeding the spatial data so that in this case I'm feeding azimuth and elevation which are coming from the MPU 6050 which I showed you earlier going through the Arduino and to the computer serial port which I am then reading and interpreting as angles and uh, so this azimuth angle is actually not uh, a true heading it's a relative heading so you will see it change from plus to minus depending on as we move from the center line elevation of course is a true elevation with a reference to the gravity the distance is being calculated by the geometry of uh, the lidar and uh, this is the laser spot which is being projected onto the target and I'm counting the pixels using OpenCV. I'm counting the pixels between the laser spot and the center of the webcam and then using some simple trigonometry to estimate the distance to the point where the laser spot is actually being reflected off the target that uh, is being illuminated. So you can see in this case the distance is about 298 centimeters, roughly 298 centimeters. Azimuth angle is 144 degrees, elevation 33 degrees. Uh, because of the nature of the 6050 chip, the azimuth actually takes a little while to settle down so probably if I move it yeah there you are it's now stabilized and you can see azimuth elevation and distance changing as I move the tracker from left to right so you can see this little box over here the box is an azimuth of uh, 105 degrees elevation 22 degrees and a distance of 290 centimeters wire out the way there go. Uh, yeah and you notice that as I if I bring an object which is closer to the camera so if I put my hand in front of the laser spot you'll notice the 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 laser point which is here will move further out that's because closer objects subtend much greater angles so more 
angle is subtended by a closer object and you'll notice that immediately as I bring my uh, hand in front of the camera so you'll notice that the spot is now here and the distance is about 30 centimeters as I move my hand further away you'll notice the spot moving closer and closer to the center of the field of view of the webcam you can see that happening so now the distance is 70 centimeters and as I move my hand closer the spot moves to the left because a greater and greater angle is being subtended so I'm using OpenCV to just count the number of pixels between the spot and the center and then we use some trigonometry to figure out the range so that's it my uh, OpenCV based uh, laser range finder thank you for watching